I'm Caitlin Henderson from Warsaw TV, bringing you the best of what to see at the Fringe. And joining me now is ventriloquist Sarah Jones. Hi. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. All the way from Australia. Yeah, that's right. How is Edinburgh Fringe treating you? Um, it's really exciting. It's my first time here, so I think really? I... Really? You're a Fringe um, newbie. I am, yes. So oh, I'm, awesome. I'm a bit of a mix of excited and terrified. Yeah. And very tired. Very tired, yeah. yeah. How have your shows been going? I had, they haven't started, so brilliant. They've okay. been the best. Um, <laughs> been nice and relaxed. Though. Yeah, it's been pretty chilled out, so that's good. So your show uh, um, Sarah Jones does not play well with others. Yep. Do you not like playing well with others? Did you um, not as a child? Yeah, well the show is basically about being weird and yeah. not fitting in <laughs> and sort of coming to terms with that hopefully. Uh, so that's that's the idea of it. Is that how you got into puppetry? Playing with puppets? Or um, not really. I actually used to be a magician. Oh. Um, I actually, well I, do, I studied history. Um, which is very useful and um, and I got into magic when I was in uh, university through a magic club and I yeah. was a magician for many years and then I sort of, sort of picked up ventriloquism from books and stuff because yeah. there used to be something that was taught sort of through generations but no one is really around to teach it now so yeah, um, yeah I just kind of taught myself and um, I discovered that I really liked it. Yeah, that's cool, that's awesome. So um, do you have a favourite puppet? Um, I do have one who's here <laughs> who we're going to bring out later, so yeah. I should probably say him, the kitten, the you cat. Don't, don't um, want to mention, don't want to cause friction. No, they, 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 they will be trouble <laughs> if, I, if I pick them. Mess, uh, muck up your performance. You exactly, know? I don't want any <laughs> sniping. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And so um, how long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been doing ventriloquism for about three years, uh, but this is my first fe festival show. So I took it to Melbourne Fringe, Adelaide Fringe, did some spots at Melbourne Comedy Festival and um, now I'm here. So, yeah. And how did you learn ventriloquism? Because I was Googling before this. Yes. <laughs> and I found that there's a whole alphabet that you can learn and like... Yeah. So it, it, there is like a sort of knack to it. So it's the sort of thing that you just practice in your bedroom by yourself alone. Yeah. Feeling sad for a really long time and feeling like you're never going to get it and then suddenly you do, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but I think I've always found what's trickier is not so much moving your lips because hopefully if you're funny enough people are going to look at the puppet anyway but it's the separation between having two characters there yeah. and you're having this sort of interaction with them and maybe the character's angry at you and you're responding to that and they're talking in one voice, you're talking in your voice, but it's all you. Yeah. So it does yeah, so. kind of hurt your brain after a while. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever bite your tongue or anything when you're mid-talking to people? I, I, I occasionally, when, I, when I'm just kind of rehearsing my stuff, will do the wrong voice. Oh really? But, and that's a bit silly. You probably you know don't that. notice that if you're oh, one on one. Yeah, well if, if the, my, my kitten puppet has a really high squeaky voice and if that suddenly comes out of my mouth it seems a bit weird. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. So would you be able to teach me any kind of simple words um, that you can do? Or? Yeah, well the, the, the hardest ones are B, P and... Uh, you really yeah, got to move you, your lips. It, yeah, and yeah. M because you're using your lips. So anything that doesn't use that, yeah. you'll be a great ventriloquist if you just say so do you just hi, hello, how are you? Oh wow! And you would probably be able to, if you say hi, hello, how yeah. are you? You'd be able so you to say that as well. You just do it like with your teeth, like hi, hello. Well, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> yeah, try not to go uh, yeah. grim yeah. because, because that will scare your eyes. They do not want yeah. to see that. They're be too good. Yeah. <laughs> You never know, just practice, practice. Yeah, so it takes yeah. a lot of practice then. Yeah. yeah, it does, but so does everything, I suppose. Yeah. So that's great, we'd like to maybe meet your friend. Sure, sure. Well, his name is Kitty. I will bring him out for you today. We thought we Thank might um, maybe tell a bit of a joke for you guys so you get sure. a sense for, about what our show We'd is love about. love that, yeah. Hello, Kitty. Hi, hello. Who's your you. puppet? Yep, this yeah. is my mic. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought it was your cat. Oh, no. No, I don't have any friends with me here. Tell a joke to me. So we'll uh, tell a little joke for you, and hopefully you guys will sort of see what our show is about. So um, uh, since we're at a, in a bar, we might, we might tell a sort of traditional bar joke. So um, a man walks into a bar. What's his name? Doesn't matter. Let's call him Steve. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Fine. So this man, Steve. Yeah. Uh, he walks into a bar, and he says to the barman, "What's his name?" Yeah, Steve. But the barman's name Steve too. Are they brothers? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not, I just meant, well, hang on a second, why would they both be called Steve if they were brothers? Well, maybe they're twins. They're not twins. Can we just, could you just be quiet and let me do the joke? Well, I can't, I was just trying to help. <laughs> okay, so, this man walks into a bar. What's the bar called? It doesn't matter. I think it matters to Steve. He might get lost. Steve's fine. Oh, yeah, if he's lost, he can just phone his brother. Look, this, this isn't funny. Yeah, I'm starting to think comedy is really your thing. <laughs> no, uh, my joke will be funny if you, you just be quiet, okay? Well, it's anything at all. I'll just shut up. Let's see how funny you are then, puppet lady. <laughs> so you're not going to say anything? Are you sure? Okay, so... So this man... 
he walks into a bar and he says to the barn, hello Steve! Okay, be quiet, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll put him away. Thank you, this is a kid and everyone. Goodbye, Bye, see thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks very much. So, obviously there's a lot of conflicts every now and then. There is, yeah. I mean, I think that's um, a big part of the ventriloquist show. If, if the puppets and the ventriloquist got along, it, it would be a very short show indeed. Yeah. yeah, and do you make your own puppets? Or, I'm just thinking oh, I YouTube do. videos kind of teach Yes, I do. Um, I didn't make that one. But if you come along to the show, there is a puppet that I have made, and I think you might be able to pick it out <laughs> because it's not so brilliant at looking at all. It is a puppet version of myself, oh, wow. and um, it is quite terrifying. So, do you use um, cuddly puppets then? None of the wooden ones? Yeah, I think the wooden ones can be a bit scary. Um, I went to a convention recently, a ventriloquist convention in Kentucky, and they have the uh, oldest ventriloquist, yeah. well, the only ventriloquist museum in the world. There aren't many. And they have these beautiful old dummies. I say beautiful, they are really, really terrifying. The old wooden ones, dating back to sort of 1800s. Yeah. And some of them actually have human teeth. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, terrifying. they are really, really yeah. scary, but kind of amazing. I yeah, think. yeah, very interesting. Yeah. So, your show will be different than that, obviously. Yeah, you've got your nice yeah. Puppet. Well, as a show, I, I hope, um, is kind of sweet. Um, it is kind of it's a comedy show, so yeah. it's, it's very silly. Um, but I try and stay away from kind of really mean spirited yeah. uh, humor. It's just kind of it's just basically about being a big dork, yeah. and um, hopefully other people will be able to relate to that. Yeah, it well, sounds brilliant. Thank Good luck with it. Thanks. Well, it starts on Sunday, so starts on Sunday. Yeah, and if you'd like to go see Sarah, she's performing at the C venues until the 27th. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank Thanks. You.